Ever wondered what would happen if you fell into a black hole? Luckily, Whoa. we've got a volunteer with us today. Wait, Bob is now approaching the event horizon of a supermassive black hole, and for simplicity's sake, let's make this one static. Now everything I'm about to tell you aren't based on observations, but on calculations and theories since we haven't actually been to a black hole, and even if we could, they're technically boundaries of our observable universe. Think of them as waterfalls where space falls in faster and faster towards the center. In the case of a black hole, that's known as the singularity, a point of infinite density causing infinite warpage in spacetime. So Bob's photons traveling out of the gravity well of the black hole appear to lose energy as they try to reach me and the interval at which they do reach me gets larger. So a stationary observer like me would see Bob move slower and more redshifted. By now, Bob's clock is significantly slower, but our personal clocks still tick normally relative to ourselves. Because space falls in at the speed of light at the event horizon, it takes an infinite amount of time for any of his photons there to reach me. So I never see him cross the event horizon. Instead, he appears frozen and redshifts out of visibility. And that's the end of my observations. So let's switch to Bob's perspective. Past the event horizon, something weird happens. If in our outside universe, time keeps moving forward that no matter what you do, you can't go back. That's how space behaves inside a black hole. Instead of being compelled forward in time, past the event horizon, you're compelled closer and closer to the singularity. Inside a black hole, forget maps and locations. Space itself falls in faster than the speed of light and all paths lead to the singularity. Now, if Bob were to try to escape, turn around and accelerate out of that black hole, not only would this not work, but this would actually bring him closer to the singularity. It's as if he's stuck in quicksand where the more he moves and tries to get out, the deeper he falls in. And his best chance of extending his lifetime is to just stay put and not accelerate at all. Trying to avoid it from within the event horizon is like running as fast as you can to avoid tomorrow. You can't. The singularity happens. It is known that clocks move slower as you approach massive objects and the effects are dramatic in black holes. So imagine a photon from an outside observer headed towards Bob. As it overtakes him, he may mistakenly think that he's seeing a photon from his future due to time dilation. But the fact that it still had to travel to him means that it's still from his past. Sorry Bob, simply falling into a black hole won't let you see the future nor let you time travel. One thing can happen though. Near the singularity, the strong tidal forces will finally help him achieve his ideal summer body as he becomes taller and thinner, after which he will immediately face his inevitable doom. At least according to our current theories. Usually when singularities like these arise, it indicates that the theory applied may not be the complete picture. At the moment, physicists are in the search for a better theory which could probably tell us what really goes on in there, such as the synthesis of general relativity and quantum mechanics into quantum gravity. Who knows? The one to find it could be you, or Bob.